Unit 13. The Evolution of Tipping. February 25th. To people in the U.S., tipping is considered normal. However, this now typical sign of gratitude was once regarded as something that highlighted inequality between social classes. Originally an aristocratic practice, tipping started in the Middle Ages. When money was given by masters to servants. By the time the 17th century rolled around, the rich in England had to tip all their servers. Tipping was introduced into the U.S. in the mid 19th century. After returning from their travels abroad, rich Americans showed off their European experience by tipping servers. This was right after slavery was abolished. As many servers at the time were former slaves, tipping served to emphasize the inequality between patron and server. Several industries adopted the practice immediately because it meant workers didn't need to be paid as much by business owners. Nowadays, tips are given to ensure prompt service. Time isn't the only consideration someone has when leaving a gratuity, though. Modern day servers. Are expected to make each customer's experience exceptional. Sadly, most servers in the U.S. make much less than the minimum wage and must rely on tips to make ends meet. No laws currently exist to protect servers in this position in the restaurant industry. Fortunately, some establishments are now implementing fixed service charges, usually between 15 to 25%. Rather than making staff depend on tips, this change has led to much happier workers. Kitchen staff members can count on receiving a more standard rate of pay, while servers don't have to fake constant cheer or compete for tables. It may take time to get rid of the custom of tipping, but with customer awareness, better laws, and progressive owners, positive change can continue.